QB Squad. Guys, today I am back with another video, guys. And for the last maybe like three or four, no, it's been a lot longer than that. Maybe like um eight months ago, I've been on this peach kick, guys. Like I just been feeling so peachy, wanting peach fragrances and things like that. Guys, I said, let me just make a little video of the peach perfumes that I do have. It's not a lot, it's only like 13 or 14 because I added a little body mist. And also, guys, I want to say, I know I've been coming back to back with these videos, guys. But I wanna say next week, I'm gonna try to do just a vlog for my whole weekend. Me and my fiance, we have to go to Miami to take our engagement photos. Another thing, I got two more things to tell y'all, just two, just two. I'm gonna do another declutter for, what am I doing, y'all, for June. Um, I have a couple, I don't have too many. Another thing that I wanna tell you guys is, I'm in my beauty room, guys. Like, I know you guys hear the echo. Please try to not really listen to the echo, but yeah. I wasn't supposed to have a beauty room. Like, please guys, don't think I'm moving too fast with being like trying to be a YouTuber. I wasn't supposed to have a beauty room. This was actually supposed to be my fiance man cave. But like he see like me recording in our bedroom and sometimes he wanna like lay down or like take a shower or anything like that. So he told me, hey, why you just won't use the extra room for your beauty room? And I told him, I said, you wouldn't mind? And he said, no. So I think that's very nice of him to support me with the way that I'm trying to, you know, um, because all this is very different for me. I love talking to people. I love like being in front of a camera, but I'm not used to this whole YouTube thing just yet. I'm not used to it just yet. Um, experiences that I just received in the mail inside the box is still for my June unboxing haul is in here and also guys i'm not sure if i'm going to do like a bath and body works annual sale i'm still trying to see because i feel like the fragrances that i well not fragrances the body sprays that i have already i really don't use them guys like and I'm gonna to try to start using them. And another thing that I wanna say, guys, just two more things, guys, two more things. And I picked out two colors for my room. It is these two. But let me know, guys, do you think I should do high maintenance or, or lavender sky? So high maintenance is the pink, and lavender sky is the lavender color now guys i want you to put it in the comments below guys i never had a beauty room before so i don't know baby i don't know this little sample paint right here guys let's get into my peachy kicky video i'm not gonna get too in depth with the notes i'm just gonna tell you guys like it is a 10 to me I'm gonna rate the fragrance from one through 10, and I'm gonna tell you how I feel about the fragrance and the bottle, and now that we said that, let's get into this video for real body miss. And this is Feeling Peachy by Body Fantasy. Guys, guys, 
I put this on after I get out the shower sometimes. Oh my God. It smells so freaking juicy. It smells like a juicy water, like a juicy, like, I don't wanna say watery, but like a fat peach. That's what it smells like. It smells like a real peach. Like this could not smell like artificial, like anything. It smells like a real deal. And that's probably why this limited edition but this is good for the summer also. Good for the summer, baby. Because it's, it's like light on your body, but it projects as well. Like if I walk past somebody, it'll be like really loud. But to me, I can't smell it, but to somebody else, they could smell it. But this is very nice. I love this. And from a rate one through 10, I will give this an eight because baby, she is busting and she is peachy. Some people pronounce his name John Paul Gautier or John Paul Gautier. Guys, when I looked it up, it's Jean Paul Gautier. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just I'm just telling you guys what I looked up on my computer. Yeah. So yeah. But guys, this is very oh my gosh. This is absolutely delicious, sweet, warm, intoxicating, sexy honey bomb. That's what this is to me. This is very nice. Guys, mm, it's just it's just so nice and it's intoxicating like in the right way. It's not intoxicating like cloying or anything like that, but it's intoxicating like you know you the bomb.com. Oh my god, it's it's a honey bomb. All I smell is the honey. Even when you spray it, you smell the honey. Even when you put it on your skin, you smell the honey. Even if you put it on your clothes. You just smell the honey. Like this is everything. And I didn't even know it was a peach note in this because you do not smell it. All you smell is the honey. You would think the honey is in the opening, the middle and the end, but it's not. It's just in the base note and you can smell it throughout. Like I want to say this fragrance is like 90% honey. This is literally a delicious honey bomb. Literally. And this is a this is a 1.7 ounce. And this is the EVP. And this is the original. This is not by night. This is um Scandal by Jean Paul Gautier. Yeah, and it's just a bomb. Bomb.com. Okay, let's get into another one. Cause I can smell this all day, guys. That's how great it is. Next, this is like a box scent. Like, baby, you finna smell me. Soon as I walk in, go smell me and you go feel me. This is a box scent. And this is Jador by Dior or by Christian Dior. Guys, amazing. Love the packaging. So cute, so nice. It is so like tiny and cute. It's not that tiny, y'all, but it's cute. And it's just so cute. Like, and I always wanted this, and I just got this maybe like, I wanna say like four months ago. So I've been doing good for four months. This is very feminine and classy, bossy, bad B a man eater type of fragrance like this is very nice very nice very nice and this is um this is a 1.7 ounce and this is a edp 
and this is Jador by Christian Dior. Right, so next, we have a mom that's like well put together and she don't play. She do what she has to do for her kids. She still works. She still going out and getting that coin. Guys, that's how I, I think about this. That's how I think about this. Guys, this is Chanel Allure. Guys, and you smell the peach. You smell the peach, baby. You smell the peach. All these fragrances that I'm, I'm about to tell you guys about or, or I just told you about, guys, it has peach, a peach note. Also, guys, if I look this way real quick, it's because like a car I drive past or whatever like that, the window is right there. Oh my God, this is a marvelous, elegant, classy, sophisticated woman. Very smooth perfume. This is, this is like, oh my God. This is a man eater as well. I'm just gonna say that. This is a man eater as well. Oh my gosh. So nice. So nice. And you could smell it like as soon as you pop off the top, baby. You could smell it. You could smell it like it's so potent. It's so potent, guys. And this is Chanel Allure. And I love the packaging. I love how it's so peachy. Like it just reminds me of like an old school mom. Like it's just so nice. I love it. I love the packaging. And I wore her one time, but I just don't want to wear, just to wear my Chanel perfumes. Like if I know I paid some coin for it, I do not just want to wear it like that. Like. I want to have a reason to wear her, if that makes sense. But this is very nice. I love it. It's just, it's, it's just so marvelous. This is a marvelous perfume, like hands down. Like it's classy, smooth, elegant, sophisticated. Like it's just, it's just nice. It's, it's nice. And this is a 1.7 ounce, and this is an EDP. In a Chanel Allure. So next, guys, this reminds me of soda for some reason. It reminds me of soda. Everybody, well, I will say it's not a safe blind buy. So yeah, I don't think you could get this in a sample though. So it's either like you got to just take a risk. It is Versace Red Jeans. Guys, everybody do not like this scent. Some people say it's overhyped. Mm, it is overhyped, just a little bit, it is. But I, I love this perfume during the summertime. But when it's like a different season, I just like this perfume. But I know she comes out for me during the summertime. So that's why I have her still and I didn't declutter her. And that's why she's still a little, you know, at the top. I wore this maybe like all last summer. And to me, this smells like a, I wanna say like a, a peachy, fuzzy soda. So like a peach soda, a peach fuzzy soda. Like if you shake up the soda and when you pop pop it open and then it like bursts everywhere, that's what it smells like. It smells like a peach fuzzy soda, literally. Like that. I don't believe this has soda note, but it do have a peach note. This is a 2.5 ounce and this is the EDT. So guys, this is the EDT. And that's probably why it doesn't last that long on my body. This probably lasts like from 
four hours to five hours on my body, guys. Oh, I wasn't braiding them. Oh. Okay. So with Scandal by Gautier, by Jean Paul Gautier, I would rate this a 10. 10. It's in Chanel Allure. I will rate this a 10 as well. 10. And then Jador by Christian Dior. I will rate this as a 10 as well. 10. Now, when I rated a 10, guys, I'm thinking about the longevity and the sillage the when I rate it. And I also think about like the bottle, the packaging, and how it smells on me. A 10. Okay, so back to this one. I love the packaging because it looked like a soda bottle. For some reason, it looked like a soda bottle to me. It looked like a soda bottle. I don't know what you guys think this, this looked like, but it looked like a soda bottle. To me, it looked like a, a Coca-Cola, old school Coca-Cola soda bottle. Yeah. And from a rate one through 10, I would give this a six and a half, only because I have to wait for summertime to roll around for this to really smell good on me. So a six and a half. This is a crowd teaser. This is princess vibes. Everything, guys, everything. And it just say, I don't need a prince by my size to be a princess, but in the red font, that's really the title, which is princess. So this is just amazing. And I don't, I'm so upset because Killian discontinued this and I just think this is such a crowd pleaser and everybody loves this. If you don't love this, hit me up in my comments and let me know if I could buy it from you. Because I will. That's only if you don't like this perfume. Now, if you like it, now, don't, don't sell it to me, man. But... Chilean Princess, this is everything, and this is my second scent, and I'm just waiting for them to, for Sephora or Killian website to produce more so I could buy a, a, a second, no, a third backup bottle, because I have, I have one backup bottle, but I want another backup bottle, because if they're going to discontinue it, why not? try to rack up on it if you know there's something that you would love in your collection so yes guys and it's just so amazing this is an amazing scent this is very sweet and delicious attractive now when i first open this up i do smell like straight like marshmallow like a roasted marshmallow that's what i smell when i when i open this up i smell like a straight marshmallow but also you smell like a little bit of peach in the dry down and guys i could just smell this all day and mesmerize about this because this is like this is just so nice. Like this reminds me of like a roasted marshmallow that's very sweet. And it's it's just amazing. I love this. And from a rate, one through ten, this will be a ten, baby, because she's cute. And the packaging is cute also. Yeah. The only thing that I don't like about this this packaging is you cannot see how much you have left in the inside all i do is like shake it up to the hair like and, and even when i do shake it up guys like i still don't know if it's like right here or right here all i know is i hear something in there so yeah that's the only thing that i don't like about this bottle versace dylan blue i know i've been talking about this quite a lot but this is very nice during summer 
for springtime slash summertime, this is very nice. This is a very amazing perfume I'm doing spring and summer. And you can even see her, but she's like right here. So, see, when you first spray this, all you smell is like a Granny Smith apple. That's all you smell when you open it. I do not smell no peach. So I didn't even know it was peach in this until I looked up the notes one day and I seen it was peach. But you do not smell the peach. You do not smell the peach because the apple is overpowering the peach. The apple is overpowering all the notes. Like, but when it dries down, it smells like a uh, apple bubble gum sweet, like a sweet apple bubble gum when it dries down. But it's not like that rubbery bubble gum or anything like that. It's like that real sweet bubble gum when you get the flavor kind of bubble gum. That's how it smells to me, y'all. It might smell different to some people, but it's, that's what it smells like to me. And I love the packaging. It's just so cute. It reminds me like of Egypt. Just so cute. And it's a 1.7 and this is an EDP. Guys, this is amazing. Like, I love this. Like, from a rate one through 10, this is like a nine and a half. The only reason why I didn't rate it as a 10, because, like, the, the triage is a 10, but the longevity is not that great on me. Like, I only get maybe, like, maybe like seven and a half hours. But maybe if I like layer her with like an apple lotion, this will probably will last like eight hours, like my whole work shift. So yeah. And this is Versace Dylan Blue, Beyonce Heat. And this is the original, and this is actually good for the summertime as well. But guys, yeah, like, Peach, orchid, almond, macaroons. When I see macaroons, guys, I was like, oh, I gotta get this. Oh my gosh. And that it, it has tonka bean in it as well. Like it's just so like well blended. I love this. I didn't wear her that much, but I do love it. And maybe I'll start wearing her more that is now that it's summertime. But this is just amazing, and you do smell that that peach, and you smell that orchid. Just amazing. And also, like, some people love this, and some people do not like this. But I love this as well. This is a 3.4 ounce, and this is a EDP. Guys, in the bottle, it's very different, but from a rate one through 10, I would get this a seven. A seven because the odds and the and the jeopardy is not that great. So that's why I give it a seven. This is Rihanna Rebel Floor, and this is a very nice man eater perfume, guys. Very nice. This is like a creamy tuberose coconut. That's what this smells like. And this is actually my second bottle, guys. I don't know why I didn't put this on my, my second bottle fragrance tag, but this is actually my second bottle. Sometimes when I be just doing my, my videos, like I be just trying to focus. But yeah, this should have been on that because this was my sec this is my second bottle. And this was given to me as a gift because the person did not like it. So she gave this to me as a gift. And then when I wore it, she was like, oh, that's so that smells so good. And things like that. And she asked me what it was, and I said, we on a rubber floor. And then she she just looked at me like, what? Like, are you serious? 
And I was like, yeah, you just gotta let it, you know, marinate. Like you can't just, oh no, I don't like it. But I don't think that's what she did. I think she really like tried it out on her body and she didn't like it. So everybody is different guys, so. But this is a very creamy coconut tuberose. Like, if you love tuberose, if you love coconut, you will love Rihanna Rebel Fleur. This is amazing. Amazing. The Siage is a 10, the Jeopardy is a 10. Amazing. But guys, this will be a nine and a half. The only reason why I didn't give her a 10 is because of the bottle. Guys, I have trouble spraying this baby. If I take this off and I try to spray, sometimes my hand like slips like this and I have to catch my perfume. That is annoying because I'm lotion my body down before I put on my perfume. So my hands be a little like moist. So it'll go like this and then I have to catch it. That is annoying because you be feeling like you got to drop your perfume. That is annoying. So maybe if she just switched up the bottle, it will be a 10, but I don't think so because Rihanna is set in her ways, guys. I love Riri now. Don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted. I love Riri. I'm a Riri fan. But she just gotta, she gotta switch up the bottle, guys. And this is a 3.4 ounce, and this is an EDP. And this is a, a man eater also. I need to do a man eater perfume video. Maybe that's what I'll do next. Next, guys, too many people don't know about it, but most people do. On the phone, plug the Nuit. Guys, this is a very nice perfume. This is very gorgeous. This is like something you want to wear on a hot summer day and you know like you would get compliments still. This is very beautiful. It's very versatile. I feel like this is a unisex because it's almost a little masculine, just a little bit, just a little tad bit. But I feel like a guy could pull this off as well. Like I feel like if a guy, if a guy like, you know, a little fruity fragrances, he would love this because this is a little, I want to say it's like musky, but I want to say it's like fruity as well. This is a stunner and I love the bottle. It's very gorgeous. I love how it's so golden and things like that. This is a 10, 10, 10, 10. And this is a, 3.4 ounce and this is an EDP. Amazing guys. Next we're gonna get into one that is very not crowd pleasing. Well it's crowd pleasing but some people like it and some people don't. I love it because it smells like baby powder to me. And this is Gucci Guilty. A lot of people don't like this because they said like Smell like baby powder, but I love baby powder. I put on baby powder every time I get out the shower. After I lotion down, you know, do all the whole shebang, I put baby powder like in my shirt, whatever like that. I love baby powder, so I love this. Like period, like when this dries down on me, it smells like a baby powder scent. Like it smells like a little lipsticky. Like it's just nice, it's nice to me, like I love it. And maybe it's the lilac, lilac note that make it smell like baby powder as well. And I just love the packaging and I love how small it is. I know they have the, like the bigger 3.4 ounce, but I love the small one because it just looks so cute. And she's halfway done, guys. And this is a one point, this is a one ounce and this is the EDP. This is the EDP. So this is Gucci Guilty by Gucci. Next guys, we have, we have Cashmere by Sh Shepard, Shepard, 
Shepherd. I don't know what that is. But this is it right here. Now, the packaging is actually a little cute. It is. But I don't know if it's just mine or if it's like everybody's. I don't know. But the top is so easy to come off. I do not like that because sometimes when I'm grabbing my perfume from the collection, I grab it by the top. So this will like fall down. <sighs> Just a mess. But that's the only thing that I don't like about this perfume. This smells so amazing. This is like a Vermont to me. Like I don't know if they labeled this as a Vermont. But oh my God, this smells like This smells like a, like a peach cobbler or a peach pie that Auntie Peaches made because she the only one in the family that know how to bust down pies. Like, guys, this is everything. Like, I love it. I do. I love it. And some people say they don't get like a peach pie on them. And, oh my God, I get the peach pie. I get the peach pie, I get the peach cobbler. Other than the bottle, you know, with the top, and other than the sillage, like the linger, the lingering is like, baby, I wanna say it's like a six. But the longevity, I could smell it in my clothes after eight hours. So other than that, I would have to give this an eight, you know? But she's amazing. See that, see that little dent? She is amazing to me. And I want to say once when I'm done with this, I will not repurchase, I won't. And yeah, this actually came out in the 90s, guys. So this been around for a little minute. And this is a 3.4 ounce, and this is a EDP. Guys, we have Nomad by Chloe. Guys, now when you first, let me show you how it looks. Look. It looks like that. So when you first like sniff this in the opening, it smells like hairspray, like spritz. You guys remember spritz, like spritz that you you spray on your hair to make it hard, you know? It smells like spritz, but if you let this just sit just a little bit, it smells fuzzy, boozy, a fuzzy, boozy peach. And the reason why I say fuzzy, because it's almost like I'm picking up the peach and feeling it and feeling the fuzz on the outside and smelling it as I'm feeling it. So that's why I say a fuzzy, boozy peach. And I, I like to wear this in the, um, the warmer weather because in the warmer weather, this actually comes out for me. So I will suggest that you guys wear this in the warmer, warmer weather before you like write her off. And this is like a nine and a half to me. I, I rated it as a nine because the this thing right here, I do not like that. Maybe I just cut it off. Cause I do not like this part. Like, I don't like that. Like, it'll be cute without it. Like, see? It's, it's better without it. Like it's cute. It's cute without it. Like you don't you don't need this little thing on the side. So that's why I rated this as a nine, a nine and a half. I rate this. But yeah, it's very nice. And this is Chloe Nomad. Last but not least, guys, we have Bum Bum by Victor and Roth, guys. Look at the damn her she's right here i love this so much i love this so much guys this is like a very 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 nice perfume and it's like a consistent 
a consistent caramel throughout the whole entire perfume. Like the opening, the middle, and the base. <sighs> Amazing, all I smell is caramel. I didn't even know this had peach in it because it's like super duper sweet. <sighs> this is like a very nice, sweet, sweet, sweet perfume, guys. Like, all I smell is the caramel. Somebody gonna have to call the Tooth Fairy because I'm about to get a cavity, guys. Like, this is amazing. Like, this is, this is amazing. This is something that pleases the crowd. And also a man eater as well. Men love this perfume. Love, love, love this perfume. And this is Bum Bum by Mr. and Ross, baby. That sums up this video. I was feeling peachy. I'm still feeling peachy. I still have a little bit to still get. Tom Ford Dinner Peach to get. I still have, um, um, I want Zara Vermont. Vermont Attic. I want that. It have a peach note. Everybody say you can smell the peach throughout the whole entire scent. I want that. And also I want Ma Madeline, Madeline Peach. I want that as well. Um, and guys, I want the Pretty Peach by, by Avon. I still love Avon, guys. I don't know about you guys, but I still love some of the perfumes. So I want Pretty pretty Peach by Avon. And yeah, like, I feel like once when I get that Tom Ford Bitter Peach, like my peach kick will be over and I'll probably be on to something else. So guys, that sums up this video today. So if you didn't like, comment, or subscribe to my channel, please do so, baby, because if you're coming back, obviously, you just love my content and you love me. So guys, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload, baby. So without further ado, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, I'm Shin. I'm the perfume goddess, baby. Have a great night.